I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Hey y'all, it's Kay from The Literary Apothecary and today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing a book tag because today is my booktube birthday. I won't say how many years because that's the first question so we'll get to that in just a second. But y'all, discovering booktube and being part of this community has been one of the best things in my entire life. I've made my best friends on booktube because of booktube and I would never change a thing about it. So let's just get into this tag because this is the booktube birthday tag. Um, and the first question says, how many years have you been on booktube? And I just looked it up and I have been on booktube on my own talking about books for two years now. I started back in 2020 um, in the middle of the pandemic and that craziness and I've been going ever since and I have not looked back. Question two, what has kept you motivated to keep making videos? Well, two answers. First and foremost, I just love talking about books and booktube gives me a place to talk about books and People that have read the same books find my videos and talk about books with me. Life can't get better than talking about books. Second, the other thing that has been the best thing in my life in the past two years is John. John has discovered his enthusiasm for my enthusiasm for books and booktube and he loves watching my videos which makes me motivated to keep creating them. And also, you know, y'all. The community just keeps me motivated to keep making videos because you guys are amazing and you guys are interactive and you're just so, so good. Number three, what are your three favorite videos from last year? Well, if I had to pick, see, I can't pick just three because I've had so many videos that I've loved doing. Um, I'll say the books my boyfriend gave me series that we started doing. I absolutely love this series because A, it involves John and my passion, um, and B, I love seeing what books that John picks out because they're books that I probably would not have picked out for myself, um, and I just love seeing the different books that he brings home. Uh, the second video, why my, my Why You Should Read Outlander video, this gave me in all of the Outlander dedicated videos. You guys know that this is one of my all-time favorite series. And this video gave me a chance to talk about Outlander in ways that I might not talk about on my reviews or my other videos like my character tier ranking video. Um, I talked about different aspects of Outlander that you might not hear about in normal reviews and that was just so much fun. You know, I get sad when someone doesn't like Outlander but I totally understand because it's not for everyone. Not every book is for everyone and so I get it but being able, trying to talk people into reading Outlander is a ton of fun because they're like, wait, what? This is in it? This is in it? Yes, it has like everything in it. It's so amazing. Um, and then the third video that I listed on here is my auth the Authors I'm Obsessed With video because that gave me a chance to shout out some truly amazing authors. Um, some of them self-pub authors and they're all my favorite authors. I love them to pieces and I would buy anything that they wrote. So those are some of my favorite videos I've done in the past year. Number four, what have been your struggles in creating content this past year and how did you overcome them? For me, the biggest struggle is finding energy to film these videos. I see other people's videos and they have such high energy in their videos. And I've got so much going on in my life between work and school and relationships and just life in general. Um, it's hard to find that high energy. And I don't think in general I'm a particularly high energy type of person. I'm more laid back, calm, you know, let's just have a nice calm conversation. But I want to have more energy in my videos. So it seems like I'm more excited. I feel like some videos don't seem like I'm very excited to talk about books when I am. Even books that I didn't enjoy as much, I'm still excited to talk about them. Um, and so I've been trying to find different ways to um, get more energy before I film. 
sometimes I'll shower before I film. Sometimes like tonight, I, knowing that I have some reading sprints coming up later, I made a pot of coffee right before I filmed and I drank a cup. Um, so I have a little bit more pep and I hope that you notice it. I'm not sure if you do, but um, yeah, just trying to find, I've been having better diets, which have been giving me better energy throughout the day. I've been exercising a little more, just finding ways to just have more energy in life in general will give me more energy in my videos, I feel like. Number five, what is one moment from the past year that you would wish you could relive? And I have a couple here because I couldn't just choose one. Um, the first one is when I created the Finnish Family Circus tag. This was a book tag I created for one of my best friends, Stacy, and her family in Finland. Um, I created the tag questions around her family and her kids, and it was so much fun to do, and their reactions to it were so much fun. I love Stacy's family so much. Her son, the middle kid, Henry, um, has unofficially adopted me into their family as an auntie and I absolutely love them all to pieces. Um, so there's that one. There's also the two live shows that I've had with authors. Um, the Nicholas Eames live show, the author of the band series. Uh, Kings of the Wild and Bloody Rose. I did that with Jesse at the Bookish Mom and Andrew Andrew's Wizardly Reads and that was so much fun because Nicholas Eames is the coolest guy ever and I love talking about his books and you'll see his name mentioned on a lot of these videos that I've already mentioned um, and that was just such a fun live show and then we like after we stopped going live we were still there for another like 30 to 60 minutes just talking about books and so he's such a cool guy it was so much fun and i would love to be able to go and do that again um he says we can do it again once his third book comes out so i'm just waiting for that um and then the other one that i have listed is the waking ursa minor live show that i did with the author of that book helen reich peterson that was so much fun because Helen is such, such a sweet person and I love that book so much. So it was great getting her perspective on her books and where she got the inspiration for the stories and the characters in her books. It was just so much fun and um, yeah, more on that in just a minute. Number six, shout out to your biggest supporter. This, I, every year I like kind of almost skip this question. Um, because I have so many different supporters and I can't just shout out one person. So here I'm shouting out everyone that has supported me and my channel and my videos, whether it's watching my videos, joining the Discord, joining our read-alongs, sending me books. You guys are the best, but especially my patrons who are there every month supporting me and giving me ideas and just hanging out. And um, I guess... The one person that I would shout out the most is one of my best friends, Leslie, at The Nerdy Narrative because she has been there from the start. She was one of my very first patrons and she's always just a huge support of me. Um, number seven, the best book you've read in last year. And first I read this as the biggest book and then I reread the question and I saw that it was actually the best book. The biggest, just in case you're wondering, still the biggest book I've read in the past year is The Count of Monte Cristo, which comes in at 1,192 pages. Um, and that I read last October. So next year when I do this tag, it'll be a different book. But as of right now in September, I'm filming this on September 9th, my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. Um, the Count of Monte Cristo is the biggest book I've read the past year. But the question actually asks, what is the best book you've read this past year and why? Um, and of course, I couldn't pick just one book for this because how can you pick just one book? I've read so many books the past year. So I'm going to name a couple books that just completely immediately stand out in my head. Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone by Diana Gabaldon. This is book nine, the newest book in the Outlander series. Y'all, this book was amazing. 
Um, I will link my spoiler free review for that book down here just in case y'all haven't read it yet. Um, but I also did a reading vlog with filled with spoilers. So you can find that on my channel also. Also Middle Game, which is a book that I recently just read. This is by Shauna McGuire. And this book was so good. It hit me in so many different feels more than a lot of books have lately. Frankenstein, you all have seen my top books of last year. This is definitely one of them. Um, this was the first time I read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and this sent me on my trek to read all of Mary Shelley's works, which I'm still making my way through slowly but surely. They're getting stuck in my backlog now, but eventually I will get to all of Mary Shelley's works. So far I've gotten through I think four of them and Frankenstein is still the best in my opinion. It is just so far above all the other books. Um, a science fiction book for you all, The Space Between Worlds, which was a patron pick picked by Lena at Lauren Lullabies. This book is written by Micaiah Johnson and this book is about traveling in between multiple universes, multiple worlds. And it was just so interesting and so well written. I just keep, I still, I read this, I don't remember when, months and months ago and I still think about it. It was that good. And then the last one I have on this list is a book that I am currently reading right now but I know it's gonna be one of my favorites this year and that is Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. The third and final book in the Green Bone Saga. Y'all, this book is so, so good. Um, and then the last question, because I'm gonna skip the tag question, the last question on here is where do you see your channel in a year? Um, what would you like to achieve? Honestly, right now, because my life is so scattered and crazy, I have no idea where this channel is gonna go in a year. I hope to continually make videos on a semi-regular basis. Um, I hope that my channel obviously continues to grow. Um, I hope to have more author interviews. I know in October, I'll definitely have one um, with Jim Milborn, author of The Seventh Cadence, but I hope to have more on my channel because I really enjoy talking to authors. Um, and I just hope to have fun and create a great community that's still going strong a year from now. The last official question on here is to tag someone that you know has an anniversary coming up. I have no idea when people's anniversaries are. So if your booktube birthday is coming up, don't forget to do the birthday booktube birthday tag. Um, and you know, for all you out there that have stuck with me through these two years, let me know in the comments below what your favorite video that I've done is on here. Um, and I will link all of the videos I talked about down in the description below and up in the cards if I remember. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. It's my booktube birthday. So I hope you all have enjoyed the past two years watching me on booktube and I can't wait for another year ahead. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. There's no pressure to join either, but we have a ton of fun at both. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.